Unreal Engine is an extremely powerful gaming engine software, and while it's capable of handling AAA title games, in the right hand it has the use of telling compelling stories. Unreal can give a 3D filmmaker so many tools to make their ideas come to life. In this tutorial series, I'm going to be going over the basics of Unreal so we can get started making your own films too, coming up right after this. Hey guys, this is Cliff from Roundtable Studios where we produce animation videos and show you how you can make yours too. And in this video, we're going to start with our environment setup. If you're in a need for a high quality environment, Unreal's Marketplace has just about plenty to offer as far as assets as you can build just about anything. It's actually really, really fun uh, since you get to see the results of the environment building process in real time. Almost like you're playing a video game. It kind of reminds me of this game I used to play called Dark Cloud 2 with the PlayStation 2 where you have to make your environments and populate it and, you know, put people in different houses. So, uh, uh, all right. It was so fun. All right. Back to Unreal. If you want to create your own environment, I'll link to some great tutorials in the description, but for now, I'm going to use a sample map from the Polar Ice Facility environment I used for my Genji vs. Gray Fox video. Once you have it, you want to create a new project and add this environment to the project file. After it finishes loading, you're going to open the file and the environment with all of its folders should be in the content browser. Go into your maps, open the default map, and let that load. Usually here it takes just a little while for it to load since it's loading all of its textures, but we're just going to skip to when it's done. You don't have to wait until it's done, but I do personally like to look at the environment to see a bit on how it's going to look like in its full glory before bringing it along back to my 3D program. Once you're ready, hit File, Export All as an FBX. Now you do have two options to export all or to export selection. If you have a large environment, I recommend exporting selection and only selecting what pieces of the environment you really need since they really get heavy really, really quickly. Um, but for us, we're going to export all. Now, we're going to put Maya first and it's nothing magical. You just select file, import and select the environment you want to import. Now, what I like most about this process is that when you animate a character in this environment, it will retain its position in translation back to directly to the environment when you send it back to Unreal. So be sure not to move the environment once you get it uploaded. All right, so we have Maya done here. Let's head to Blender. In Blender, same idea, file, import, and select your environment. As long as your 3D program can handle FBX files, this process should work with just about any program. Next, we're going to look into exporting your camera animation from Maya back into Unreal. I really don't know how to use Blender, guys, um, but I know a lot of you guys do, so I want to help a lot of you guys out. And some of you guys in the comments have been really, really helpful while helping some of our other fellow Blender animators out. So if you have any questions, be sure to head to the comment section, and I'll try to pin the ones that help people the most so you can find it easier. Take care, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.